Good morning my fellow vloggers and designers. Well here we are again and now today we are off to the kitchen suppliers. Uh, we're going to go and have a look through at um, some of the choices that we have for the bathrooms at the new Sloan Square job. Um, I'm getting ahead of time here um, as I think I might have shown you in one of my other videos. Um, I'm getting ahead of time and actually going in early to actually decide what there is, what can be done um, and what would be good so I can suggest a few things when I next see the client. So that's where I'm heading today. Um, I then I've got to pop into town, a little appointment, um, and then after that I'm heading back home for some more video editing. So it should be quite a straightforward uh, day, but it does time does run away with you when you go into places like bathroom supplies and kitchen supplies. The only issue tends to be, um, really, is that you can just sort of get lost in your job, as it were, which is quite a good thing to do, I think. Anyway, it's a very um, sort of cloudy, overcast day here in London, but let's get on with the day. And here we are at the Kitchen Designers Deep in Discussion. We're just explaining here uh, to the lady uh, Sophia, who's putting all the drawings together for us. This is the design that uh, Callan and I have come up with. So we're just uh, just explaining the rudiments of the design uh, to Sophia. Make a little bit deeper. So we can put the heated towel rail bit that will mm -hmm. go in. Yeah, so we'll recess a heated towel rail inside that recess. On this side, we're going to have a recess just for them to place Shampoo. Possibly, yeah, possibly a glass shelf in the middle put of it. Do we put lights on, um, in, on top of the recess here? As long as they work, I'm just paranoid about lights. I'm like, quite, okay. you, know, we do, you know what we're doing here because obviously this yes. is a shower. This is a shower where we've put the shower's got four lights in it, which is here. So because this design is something which I've put together beforehand, it's just relaying all the stuff. So Cal has obviously got his notes um, here that can be found and everything will be put into a sort of 3D program, as it were. So um, the lovely Sophia will put everything in there so that we can actually see what it's going to look like with all the things um, that I've chosen. And you generally just have to sort of uh, sit here it is a, with pen and pencil, just making sure that things fit. Uh, things look right um, and just to really go through the scenario planning of can you actually get through the, the door between the shower and the wall and do you want your shower controls on hand before you get in the actual shower itself all those sorts of things so um, there's a lot of explaining to do and if you can't do it sort of yourself or don't want to do it yourself it's quite handy having a uh, kitchen and bathroom supplies that can actually know what you're talking about and can actually relay stuff um, together between each other um, and get everything sorted. Um, so this is generally what I uh, tend to do. These things can take a matter of um, hours or days and there's usually two or three different visits um, that you can do to actually get it right. It is much better to do these things when you're there um, rather than do things over the phone um, or on email. It takes an awful lot more time so I would um, heartily say to anybody to actually go in um, go into your kitchen and bathroom supplies to sort this this type of thing out and then you can draw it through and you can actually take things away from you and, and um, 3D plans can be sort of uh, printed out where you can take them away, you can work through them you can actually go to the clients with these things um, and get these things uh, sorted out with the clients very much um, better sometimes but the client will actually say yes I do like this, no I don't like that um, and then you can relay this back um, to the supplier and say this is what we're doing, any other changes that need to be made aware of. Um, it's time consuming, but that's part of the job. Um, and again, you have to remember it's for somebody else, not for you. You do have to think of the practicalities. And this is where experience comes in. The more you do these things, the better it is. Um, just one of those things, I'm afraid, which is good. So that's this area. Yeah. 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 So today so, is the rest of the nonsense. And, and these tiles, you want it on which? Ideally, um, I definitely wanted it here, and I definitely wanted it there. So if I just put feature tiles? Yeah, because I think when they come in there to see it, I'm depending on how it could go, because obviously they're in sheets and they're little, little Yeah, they're 320 bits. by three, uh, well, three, uh, funny size, three one, I know, two. they're very specific, ridiculously, but I kind of just thought, depending on what it can go in there, if it means, I mean, I guess I can, we can look at that once the design. Well, why not this background be white? just white tiles with the white tray and you just have like the surround 
Maybe, the I mean the Sarad, I don't mind, because I suddenly thought, well, if the heat of terror is going in there, you can have a plane, you can have a plane back, right? It doesn't have to be is like that, this. Because that one is quite busy, yeah. and we'll lose the radiator. I yeah. don't think we'll be seeing the radiator. Either, I mean, I quite like the idea of having this around, so obviously this is all the, you know, blue, 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 and on that little return bit, blue there, and blue there, so it's yeah. almost framed, mm -hmm. but the yeah, actual because, insert behind. Because this sofa... Without to... any towels, or...? Just paint or um, no, inside. with with tiles. Yeah, I white think tiles, need, so I think white, yeah, white tiles. So I, in fact, I may even match the ones whatever on the floor. Not on the floor, so it keeps it. Uh -huh. And so the discussion moves on to the actual cabinets themselves, uh, which is this dark wood here. And it's a little bit sort of a shaker style, as you can see. Um, but that's going to look uh, really quite um, special. Um, you have to actually think of the overall scheme. So once you put the brown with the blue of the tiles and the white, which will perhaps go on the floor, um, it makes a, a really striking combination. And people don't really think about putting blue um, and brown together, um, but it's actually, it's it's beautiful when you do put it together. So it's one thing I think uh, for people to watch. Uh, one little tip there for you, don't uh, discount that. And of course, um, look at things such as texture. So stoneware, uh, this is for kitchens and for bathrooms incidentally, but uh, most notably for bathrooms. Um, you need to look whether things are gloss, whether they've got a fleck in them, uh, whether they're honed, how thick they are, are they porous, do they need treating, sealing, um, all these types of things um, and generally your supplier can tell you um, so that's always good good to do but um, once you've had a look at things you can actually um, put everything together it's a lot of work and a lot of paperwork as you can see um, a little bit messy um, but that's generally okay and once you are going through everything make sure that you've actually ticked all boxes and have checked every single thing that's there just check that you're absolutely doubly sure that you haven't left any stone or wood unturned as it were because um, you would regret it if you think that you haven't got the exact right thing that you want uh, for your client but I think um, I think the brown um, and the blue will work together really quite well here taps are another thing of course um, and obviously this is a, a Trez brochure uh, they've been going for a long time, very trustworthy brand, um, got an enormous um, supply. There's loads that you can go to, um, obviously Handsgro is another one which is, uh, which, is well which is well known. So I would uh, have a look at all of these types of ones, but uh, at least make it consistent within your bathroom. That's the main thing to do. Go for something a little bit different as well. And this bathroom here is the basement bathroom. And uh, this is gonna be quite an interesting one to do because it's very small, it's in the vaults. Um, as I said, it's very small and narrow. And this is a step down. And it's in this corner here that we want to put a shower area in, which means we're gonna have to dig down, uh, which is gonna cost a bit of money. So I'm not quite sure whether the client wants to do it, but if they do, we're going to hopefully micro cement it, uh, which is a very urban way of doing things, uh, which should be fun. And here is some of the micro cement things that you can do shown here. Um, and it's quite interesting to see all the different bits that you can do with it. Um, and it's just sprayed on and it's, um, you have to do uh, you know, thing a couple of layers, but it does work and you can do all sorts of different shapes um, and sizes for baths. Um, and you can just leave it there. It's a very urban look. Um, she may not like it, but it's a, it would be a, a definite modernization um, if they were to do it, whether it's in a basin such as this or whether it's a whole bathroom. We shall see exciting times ahead.